Hi guys, how's it going? It is me, Megan, and I am back with another video. If you guys are new to my channel, I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark and a few other platforms, but mostly Poshmark. And here on YouTube, I like to make reseller content. Um, I'll do videos like this, I'll do haul videos, I'll do reviews, what's sold, all that good stuff. So if that is something you guys are interested in, please make sure to like and subscribe and that way you will never miss one of my videos. I don't know how many parts, this might be a two part sort of video. If it is, I'll try and just release the videos back to back. Um, so part two will come out tomorrow. But I got to the bins, I got to the bins. Um, it, today is September 4th. Finally made it back to the bins. I don't know why I say finally, I went like last month. I got the most I've ever gotten at the bins um, and also why I'm on the ground right now. I'm actually in my living room. Let me bring you guys in a little bit closer because there's so much stuff. I didn't want to have to drag it into the office and try and deal with it. Yeah, I got 78 pounds for I think a hundred, I don't have the receipt on me right now, for about like $101 I want to say. And I'm assuming I probably got close to a hundred pieces. So I'm just gonna show you guys what I got. I'm just gonna get into it because this is gonna be a very, very, very long video. So the first thing right here on top are a pair of Old Navy jeans. Um, nothing too crazy, but they are size 12, which is a good size. And they're basic, very basic. Gotta get those posted. I know it's gonna, there's like a heat wave going through some of the country right now. So that's sort of why I picked up the shorts, even though we're sort of headed out of summer. Um, it'll be hot in some places for a while. Okay, and then I got this Banana Republic Extra Fine Italian Merino Wool, and it has this like, it's a brown cardigan with this ruffle detail in the front. Um, I don't think it's very cute, but I'm gonna send that to thread up. So these are a pair of distressed Adrian Goldschmied uh, jeans, AG -A jeans, super skinny ankle. I really like this color. I know AG can sometimes be hit or miss, but army green is almost always in style i also got this huge basket and i don't know when you guys are watching this but like i said this is like the first week of september and i found this which is not black panther it, he's michael b jordan's character from black panther not that it really matters but i saw this and i was like thinking about chadwick who played black panther who recently died just this week and i carried him around and i meant to put him back but i accidentally bought him so now he's mine i also got a few things for myself um this basket it's just a cute little pink basket i'm gonna put on my desk this i don't know i just had to buy it i think it's a mcdonald's employee shirt but it has like the olympic symbol on it or maybe this is just sponsored by mcdonald's i don't know i'll have to do some more research this is mcdonald's los angeles it's by dan moore and it's a size large it's like a collared polo but it doesn't really look like it's been worn um i picked up a couple of these actually i saw a lot of free people there today Free people, this is just a basic halter neck tank, halter neck tank top. Um, probably get around 15-ish for these. Um, I've sold this before in a different color. Uh, this is so cute. There are a few pieces I purchased today of brands that aren't great, but the prints were really cute. Like this is just Exhilaration, which um, I believe is Target, maybe Walmart, but it's this absolutely adorable like satin Dalmatian print in this great purple color. It is an extra small, but the waistband is very stretchy and this could fit at least a me um, yeah, maybe a medium, definitely a small like knee length. This ooh, I also got for um, us. I don't want to put too close to my face, but this is just gonna be a bath mat. I try not to pick up any kids stuff today. Um, again, I'm trying not to sell it, but this is a uh, Disney branded cute mermaid skirt. I love this so much. This is going to be so cute for someone on their birthday or going to Disneyland. Um, Disney kids stuff I'll pick up almost always. All right, so this is another Free People piece. This is a Free People size medium um, knit cardigan with the buttons. Um, as you could probably see, there's a lot of like, I don't know, pulling maybe? Is this mohair? I didn't even look. So it's actually hidden buttons, but they're snaps. Oh, there's some alpaca in here. This is a really good find. I found a lot of really nice things in the first like bin I went through, and this was one of them. I found um, almost all the free people stuff I found today was in that first bin. This will need to get um, washed though, because I don't know why it's very dusty. This, I don't know if it's worth much, but it's club room, and I believe it's a men's size extra large. 
and it's a hundred percent cashmere and it's just the softest thing i couldn't find a hole in it i'm gonna have to triple check but very basic so soft like the softest cashmere you've ever felt in your life <clears throat> so i found a couple of vintage it's not 20 years old but um, usa olympic from 2002 pieces um and this was one of them i left one behind but i picked this one up i also thought it was hilarious I mean, I guess the Olympics aren't happening this year, but they're happening next year, probably. Um, summer, not winter. This is by Roots, and Roots makes a lot of the U.S. Uh, Olympic stuff. So this, I found a lot of women's plus size items today, which is good. I didn't pick up all of it. This is Liz Claiborne. I don't usually pick up Liz Claiborne. I don't know if I've ever actually even sold it, but it's a size 1X, and it's this really cute, like, boho tassel top. I love this color combination with the elasticated sleeves. It is sheer, but it's very cute. All right, so Babaton. I found a couple of these pieces today. Kind of sort of looked a little mixed, maybe between 20 and 30, maybe a little bit more, um, but this was in very good condition. Stretchy army green, um, lightweight knit top. This was, I didn't look it up, but it's called Delacy. I'm assuming it's like a boutique -y LA brand. Yeah, the thing needs to get reattached, but it's just a little tie front, like pretty much bra crop top um, with the buttons. But I really liked this pattern and I think that'd be good for fall. So my cat tried to make off with this kid skirt. Then I picked up this <laughs> Levi's size large, sort of like pearl button, Western style, someone probably cut the sleeves off because I've seen these with sleeves <laughs> um, but I thought it was cute as a vest that cute double V pocket I'm not sure how you, what you'd call that but probably a men's size large but I can definitely see a girl wearing this the fall would be very cute FJ is foot joy and foot joy does um, sell for a little bit probably like 30 ish but this oh, this is professional golf association of America but what confused me was it says Paul Wayland Golf, and I don't know what that means. I don't know if it's specifically to Portland, but it's this really nice, like, um, like double lined. You get here, it's like windbreaker on the inside. Knit sweater thing. I don't know. I'm gonna have to figure that out. Okay, right, this is another one of those Babaton pieces, size small, medium, um, made with wool. But it was in really good condition, and it has these fun pockets right there on the front. I think that one will do well. Um, so I found also a lot of Prana. These were Prana, size extra large. Um, cute little knit shorts with some pilling, but that's okay. Prana does okay for me. I still get excited when I see it, if that says anything. This was an express dress size four. This I'll likely send to thread up. Um, not that I don't like it. I do. I think it's cute. It's kind of Victorian-esque with that mock neck. Um, we'll see. If I can find good stock photos for it, then I will sell it myself. Um, so this is just Forever 21. Again, you're probably like, Megan, why are you picking up Forever 21? But it was this really nice, like, midi-length maroon ruffled wrap dress um, in a good size, size large. I don't expect to get a lot for it, but um, I guess I'll sell Forever 21 every once in a while if I like the style. Now, these comps also looked pretty good on I need to do way more research, but it's... Wednesday. But these are Margaret O'Leary size medium knit, extraordinarily heavy knit pants. I'm debating if the crunching is the elastic or the wool, and I'm hoping it's the wool. So these are Joy Lab size large. I just picked these up for myself. Joy Lab is sold at Target. I do think that Joy Lab would actually sell um, pretty well on Poshmark. It's a more popular Target brand, but it wouldn't sell for very much. So another Prana piece, Prana size large. This was like a romper. This first I also have to look up. I haven't heard of this brand. I found a few like lower end brands in one area, so I assume it's not really worth anything. It's Lena, it's probably a boutique brand. The zippers aren't YKK, so I can't imagine that it's actually worth a lot. But it's kind of trendy knit purse in really good condition. This is another Forever 21 piece. Um, and it's white, but for white, it's like extremely bright. Um, wrap top, pretty florals. 
Probably not the season for it, but I like it a lot. This is Love by Design, and I found Love by Design one other time. Size large is what this is. Um, and comps seem to be pretty good. I think it's uh, like Nordstrom, like sold at Nordstrom, but I loved this fringe, this knit, this pattern, close to that Southwestern style. So I do think someone will definitely like that. These are a pair of Wranglers. I don't always pick up Wranglers, but uh, I'll pick them up if they're in good condition. These I specifically picked up because they're George Strait cowboy cut collection. And I don't know if that's gonna be worth more, but we shall find out. They just have like the smallest bit of wear in their size, 32.30. Cabby, size two, cute high rise, straight leg trousers. These are going to thread up. I picked up quite a bit of cabby today specifically just to send a thread up. This top I love. This is in great condition, but it's just from H&M and it's a size four. Probably can't see that tag, but hi Winnie. It has swans on it and it's like satin. I don't think that's a swan, but oh, it is so gorgeous. So smooth. This I also have to look more into. This is greater good, it says size extra large. It has this Swiss dot pattern on it. Um, and then like these buttons on the front, which is really popular right now. Um, and the bleach dye. Mm, this I liked a lot. This just says Bend, Oregon, which is close to Portland. Um, it's by US Vintage Quality Goods, size large. But I just love the way it looks with this like, almost looks like denim acid wash. I might keep that. Um, so this I got almost purely for style because I don't like the brands, but it's again, something I'll probably send to thread up. It's a maxi length tie dye looking dress. It's Michael by Michael Kors, size extra small. Um, if you've been following me for a while, I don't like selling Michael by Michael Kors as in it just doesn't do very well for me. Um, so I'm gonna send that to thread up. Um, this is Lane Bryant size 1820. I like selling Lane Bryant a lot. This was a great jewel tone sweater. Um, I just recently sold a sweater between 20 and 30 from Lane Bryant. These are just Van Heusen size 3232 men's jeans, but somebody I believe DIY'd them and look how cute that is. It's like pure straight leg, I guess wide leg, frayed hem denim jeans some distressing. These are so cute. I love finding pre-distressed things. I think someone might have glued this knee though, because it's kind of hard. I think they're cute. Even if they don't sell, it's fine. I don't mind redoing those. This, I believe, is like authentic army grade clothing or army issued clothing. This says jacket physical fitness uniform, medium short, American power source. And it says very adorable, pretty heavy army windbreaker. This I probably shouldn't have picked up, um, but it is by Dog, D-A-W-G, 100% cotton. And I just really was into these colors. And it's kind of vintage lo looking. I don't know if it's actually vintage. Yeah, 100% cotton is all it says. And it's like denim-y with the embroidery. All right, this is Tina Turk size medium. I don't like selling Tina Turk, but it's this cute knit dress. I believe it's a full dress and it's new with tags. There's no price on it, but I'm pretty sure Tina Turk is pretty expensive. Um, so this is going to thread up. Okay, this is a quilted vest just from Old Navy size 2XL. So really good size, pretty gold zipper. It's in really great condition. It'll be a great lightweight jacket for fall. This is another big knit soft cardigan. I didn't look at the fabric content in this. Oh, there's a alpaca and wool in this. So <laughs> good for me. Good thing I picked it up. Velvet by Graham and Spencer. I do believe it's sometimes sold at Anthropology. I think it's also sort of sold at Nordstrom. Um, but yeah, I don't know. These were all in like the first bin I looked through. So I'm surprised people didn't grab them. Uh, this is Hollister size large like teddy jacket. I found a very similar one to this at the bins last time I went. This one's looking white now, but at the store it kind of looked pink. The comps on the Urban Outfitters one, which is the one I found last time, um, were really good. They were like 80-ish. This is Old Navy. If I look through my thing again, I probably would have put this back, but it's kind of like the classic Old Navy size extra large. Um, I don't even know what you'd call this. It's like a stiffer 
lightweight jacket. These are really good for fall, but I have honestly see those everywhere. So this I also probably would have put back, but it's a bigger size, so I'm not upset about it. It's Catherine's Petite 18, size 18. These I actually might just send a thread up. So this is Liz Lang Maternity for Target. Oh. Usually when it says something for Target, it's like a really high designer. And then they like did a collab with the Target. So Liz Lang Maternity for Target. So Liz Lang might be like a really nice designer. So something to look out for. I honestly just bought it because I thought it was cute. It's like an athletic cow neck sweatshirt and i like selling maternity maternity could do really well sometimes these are probably gonna go to thread up um but i got a couple of lularoe which doesn't sell super great um for me on poshmark but it does sell good for me in bigger sizes and this one is a 3xl it's a maxi length t-shirt dress these are a pair of express jeans. I got a pair of these, similar to these. Um, last time I was at the bins and I was able to sell them for like 30 bucks. The distressing is what did it. This one doesn't have quite as much distressing. Mm, there is uh, some puckering right there. It looks worse on the camera, but I'll think about it. Uh, this I could not believe was still just right on top of a bin. It's a Disneyland like Sherpa lined full zip hoodie in a size extra large, probably men's extra large. This will be a really great um, Christmas gift for somebody. Mm. This is another LuLaRoe piece. This one's new with tags. This one's also a 3XL. This one's a bit fancier. The skirt, ruffled layer skirt. Goodwill's trying to sell for 20 bucks. That's gonna probably go to throw it up because I don't like the way it looks. I'm not a big fan of that design. I don't really know why I got this, but it's just like an H&M mesh top. Um, but it kind of looks like tie-dye, right? Kind of fun. This I think I'll send to thread up. It's a torrid um, blush colored size two, which I think is extra large tab sleeve top. I do like to set, oh, just kidding. There's like, I don't know what you call that. Some like poles in it. That's a bummer. Today I found a lot of Chico's. I didn't pick it all up, but this is Chico size two. Um, they do vanity sizing like Torrid does. I don't know what a size two is. These might be a 14, um, but high rise, light wash, jegging, the kind you pull on. Um, really good condition. Probably get like 20 for those. Some Chico's I will send to thread up, um, but I can sell Chico's pretty well in that $20 range. This Goodwill was trying to sell, and I couldn't really find a brand on it, but there is an RN number, so I'll look it up, but I really liked it, so I might just keep it. It's like a cow neck striped black top. Okay, this was also a great overall day. Like overall, it was a good day, but then also I found a bunch of overalls. <laughs> so these super cute denim short um, overalls from Old Navy, size large these might be vintage tag feels kind of papery but paper tags is sometimes a good sign that things are vintage but it's the front pocket this pocket love selling overalls almost regardless of brand here's another pair of overalls these i have to look into i don't know if this is maternity or not but it's called mama mommy jenny size 2xl it's almost it feels like linen but i don't think it is but with the tie waist. Overalls. This I'm gonna send to thread up. I found quite a bit of BCBG Max Azria, and I know it does well on thread up, or at least I've heard it does. There's some very light pulling, but we'll see. Size medium, not my favorite style. Like, uh, I'm not a big fan of this color combination, but. When I'm not excited about something, but the brand's good, I send it to Chew Thread Up. This is another pair of overalls. Apparently I purchased them inside out. These are Gap straight leg overalls. Um, size medium. I don't know if you guys know what the vintage Gap tag looks like. Is that what it looks like? Industrial denim. I think these are probably men's. Is there anything wrong with them? Oh, they look pretty good. I love picking up basic Carhartt tees. This one's like in an emerald green color. Nice big size. 
These, I don't know if my fiance actually wants or not. Um, cause, <laughs> cause today was one of the first times, and this is the last thing for this video. Um, this is one of the first times I went to the bins, like fully by myself, like I drove myself and everything <laughs> because we share a car. Um, not because I'm a child, but <laughs> when I came home and he helped me bring the stuff upstairs, he was like, oh, did you get me anything? And I said, maybe, if you like these overalls. Um, the brand is Kavu, and it says True Outdoor Wear. And I don't know, now that I think about it, this might be Bigfoot. Oh, this must be Bigfoot. Bigfoot doing a bunch of funny things. Like he's on a floaty here. That's a floaty. He's taking a selfie with a selfie stick. Kavu. I mean, they seem to be pretty well made, to be honest. It's a size large. And I don't know. They're overalls. That's 100% the reason why I purchased them. But I think they actually also might be worth some. But yeah, that was just half <laughs> of all the stuff I got. And I'm still surrounded by clothes and I'm still starving. But that's fine. I'm going to get through filming all this before I eat anything. Because I need to wash my hands and shower anyway. And yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys um, got something out of it. <laughs> Uh, let me know if you know anything about the brands that I'm less sure about. Are these things you guys would pick up or not? Um, what was your favorite item? And yeah, I hope you guys are having a good time sourcing and selling. And I will see you guys all next time. Bye!